Hello, this uh, video is going to show you how to, I'm just checking to make sure I'll put it in the right place here, how to take a distribution model where we have some history, not much, and then we have some forecasts, and take that and make it into a valuation analysis. And what we'd like to do is start our uh, analysis in different years and have different uh, terminal periods as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started. And then what we're going to do is just put that into our uh, summary analysis, put a few items of uh, free cash flow in the summary analysis. Okay, so the f once we have our valuation year, and then we're also going to do a valuation with a market to book ratio rather than a terminal growth rate because it's a distribution company. Now the first thing to do is is find the initial initial um, uh, uh, column and to do that just put we're going to do a whole bunch of this stuff with a match of this against the whole year. That gives us the, uh, and then we can put the final column. I said match an index, I hope. So we can then uh, change, uh, show this, and click on that. Now, what we'll, uh, now let's start uh, transferring data from, from the, from the distribution model. I hope one of the things this demonstrates to you is just how often you might you use this. Why don't we put the year? Uh, but why don't we cut the column? Now, I, I think I'm going to uh, do a couple of things. Let's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just make it six columns for now? And then we can put the year. Now, what we'll always do whenever we have one of these things is once we have the match, we can just click on the the whole uh, row number and push and put the uh, index. How could I have not do that? So you go up to the, and then we can uh, put this, and then why don't we put the EBITDA? Let's see what we have down here for our free cash flow. EBITDA, less the taxes, less the working capital. Do, do we want this? Or I think we should do, use the free cash flow here. In fact, let's just use these. So we can just copy this whole uh, free cash flow analysis here. Uh, why, why didn't... Okay. Okay. Let's put equal index. And this is just how easy it is. You just click on the entire column and then just go up to the column number. And then since this is, uh, uh, well, let's just change the, put a dollar sign on this one. Then we put the. Uh, then we put the uh, formatting in. <laughs> okay, Shift Control One. How's that? And then now let's put the uh, PV of explicit cash flow and put the. Uh, 
Let's take the NPV at the whack of the, and then we can now we can put the terminal cash flow flow and to put the t the terminal. We can put a terminal switch that just says when this thing equals the, the terminal period. Okay. Then let's put the terminal value. And let's just uh, say the terminal value is this number multiplied by one plus the uh, terminal growth rate divided by the WAC minus the terminal growth rate. But we have to multiply that by the switch. Okay, and then we can get our... Okay. That gives us the terminal value, and then we can get the PV of the terminal value. And PV okay. And then we can get our total enter <laughs> value as the sum of these two. Okay, whoops. Okay, and then we can get terminal value with, with growth, terminal value with m slash b. To do that, let's first get the net plant. And... Uh, do the same thing, index, and we go up to the net plant this time, and we go to the column number, okay? Okay, and then we put the uh, terminal value, hmm. let's put the, the ratio up here. Okay, and let's multiply this by the terminal switch, and that's it. No, and then we multiply it by our terminal. Okay, so then we can put uh, the NPV. We could have prob I could have copied that, but somehow I changed it to French again. Did anybody see that? equal NPV of the uh, whack at this and then we have enterprise value with M slash B which is equal to this plus the explicit ex you know and, and I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to move this. How should we do this? Why don't I move this to the... Okay, to this... Now what, that we've got uh, one thing to add, I suppose I'm going to. Uh, why don't we? Uh, 
why don't we uh, temporarily hide these okay and we have a a little more in our summary sheet okay uh, let's get it all on one page that's all I'm doing right okay and the uh, final thing, I think we'd like to uh, really put a little bit of our uh, analysis of our uh, scenario analysis of our scenarios in here. Okay. And finally, uh, uh, I think we should put these assumptions. We didn't really need this this whole page. Uh, you know, I'm gonna. Why don't we put these valuations assumptions in the okay into the Okay, I think we're finished, and then let's, we don't need this page anymore. Okay, that's enough of this video. Not a very good video. You can put a dislike on there if you want.